Hey guys, Marshall Nine here. Going out to Yu Gi Oh! Lotus episode 8 The Plot. No time to waste, here we go. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Now it's loading. a production of the Children's Television Workshop. It sure is a shame that Mokuba got kidnapped again. If we'd been paying the slightest bit of attention, it probably wouldn't have happened. Oh, he gets kidnapped like once a week. I'm sure he's used to it by now. It feels like I'm dying inside. <laughs> Come on, let's go play some more card games. Hey, look, some idiot dropped his cards. Hands off, those are mine. Tristan, what the hell happened to your voice? It sounds all weird and stuff. What are you guys talking about? Seriously, it sounds completely different. Does it hurt to talk like that? You guys, I've always sounded like this, I swear. That voice is all wrong. What happened to the Tristan I knew and loved? This is unacceptable. It sure feels good to know that my friends are backing me up. Man, Joey, these guys look like they're way out of your league. Maybe we should go looking for some three-year-olds. He'd be better off facing a dueling monkey. <laughs> you guys are the worst friends ever. Hello, Joseph. Happy to see me? Yes, talking cleavage. I'm very happy to see you. Say hello to your next opponent. <laughs> talking cleavage. <laughs> I've almost said that to someone before. Oh, God. Talking cleavage. <laughs> Talking breasts. <laughs> it's Rex Raptor. He was a regional finalist. You said region. I <laughs> foolishly accept your challenge. Don't do it, Joey. He'll clearly wipe the floor with you. It is implied that I am punching you. Gasp! Hey, no fair. You can't punch me while I'm not on screen. You had it coming. Ever since your voice changed, you've been like a totally different person. Well, True. actually, you've been like the same person, just with a totally different voice. But you know what I mean. Good luck winning this card game without my help. Yeah, because you're usually such an important character. Just mm -hmm. remember our deal, Rex. And watch out for his time wizard. That's what he used to defeat my harpies. You'll have herpes? <laughs> harpies. Stop saying herpes. I'm going to go find Tristan. Oh, I love it when he abandons me. Must wash away the sin. Hey, Tristan, what what's up? Happened? Yugi, what are you doing here? You should be helping Joey. Joey doesn't need my help. Don't you get it, Tristan? This is Joey's coming of age episode where he proves he's a real man by winning a children's card game all by himself. Well, he's got a hot sister, so I guess I can forgive him for assaulting me. And that's what true friendship is all about. What? Let's just go back. Hey, Joey, I've returned to give you my support. Hey, Tristan, I don't care. <laughs> Time roulette, go. That's a power roller. Stone Age. Check it out, my dragon stone. Well done, Joey. <laughs> you believed in the heart of the cards and it came through for you. Actually, it was more like dumb luck. Same thing, really. Now that I'm all alone, nothing could possibly go wrong. It's raping time. <laughs> There's something in the bushes. <gasps> Guys, it's me, Bakura. I've been stalking you for the past five episodes. I hope that doesn't seem too suspicious. Do we know you? He does seem familiar somehow. What's the deal with his inappropriate accent? <laughs> Let's all compare ourselves to our cards in order to set up a plot point for the next episode. I'm the Flame Swordsman. <laughs> I'm the Cyber Commander. I'm the Magician of Faith. And I'm the Dark Magician. What about you, Bakura? This is my favorite card. Oops, wrong one. There we go. The change of heart. If you want to know how it works, we can have a duel right now. That sounds innocent enough. By the way, there's something I'd like you to know. You're a bunch of idiots. This came completely out of nowhere. That's what you get for hogging all my screen time, you little bitch. Now to take the Millennium Puzzle and steal your role as main character. What in Zork's name is going on? Get your hands off you my puzzle, you that easy. fruitcake. What 
Let's say you and I have a card game to decide which one of us deserves to be the main character. And when I win, this show will be all mine. Okay, but who are you? I'm Bakora. Never heard of you. Wow. folks. Here at Yu-Gi-Oh, we like to have a good laugh as much as the next guy, but there comes a time when the laughter must stop, and that's usually when somebody dies. Recently, a treasured member of our cast passed away. His name was Tristan Taylor's voice. He meant so much to all of us. He made us laugh, made us cry. I can't believe he's really gone. When I first heard that Tristan's voice had died, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. His voice was like family to me. I was with him when his voice passed away. His voice had been struggling to overcome an addiction to alcohol. And, well, one Abuse? thing led to another. Tristan's voice, have you been drinking? I can't remember because I'm so drunk. Hey, wait. Don't run with those scissors. You're not the boss of me. Ouch! Oh, no, he's dead. What <laughs> happened was just terrible. I'd never want anything bad to happen to my voice. Neither would I. Um, so we dedicate this episode to the memory of Tristan's voice. Good night, sweet prince. And a flight of angels sing thee to thy rest. I'll be damned. Well... What the fuck was that? Ah, oh, that was the plot. So yeah, peace out. See you in the next one.